Hey, Greybeard here. <laughs> I'm fixing to do an oil change. Need to clean this truck out too. <coughs> but, I figured I'd splurge and get the good stuff. <coughs> I did skimp on the uh, filter though. I got the AC Delco. They're, they're more affordable. This is a rare occasion I pop the hood. But yeah, I got the AC Delco. They're around uh, $5 or so, $6 and something, something like that. I've been hearing a lot of bad things about Fram here lately, so it's kind of got me leery of it. But, uh, anyway. Brace in there. I would like to have hood struts on here, but I don't know if it'd be that easy to do. But anyhow, yeah, we're gonna change the Earl. Fixing the, like I said, I gotta go to the family reunion on Saturday, which is tomorrow, and uh, we will uh, get this all change underway. And uh, before I start the uh, time lapse, I'm gonna do a time lapse for the first time. Anyways, uh, like, subscribe hit the bell, and uh, share the crap out of it. Already back from a time lapse. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too boring. Hopefully it didn't take too long either. Seems it was on time lapse, I wouldn't think it'd be long at all. Here's where you do the engine fill. I guess I should have showed more about the uh okay. There we go. That was a little bit uh what do you call it? uncooperative uh with the uh coming off. Anywho, I guess we'll use this one. Got to wipe her out real good. Un momento, por favor. Might be a little wobbly. You're on my bed cover. It's a soft one. Don't want no trash getting into the 4.3. It was dirty, but maybe it's just the texture of the plastic I'm seeing. Anywho, I believe we got her uh, wiped off as good as it's going to get. I'll see if I can find a place to uh, put you on here. Oh, and I'm stepping on my light, which I haven't turned off yet. All righty. 
Yeah. That was the better half. Uh, soup's on. Get my trash. Keep that on the bag so it don't get on the cover. Now, if I can find a place to set you. I think that'll. Oh, yes. He's great. Hopefully I don't spill it all over the place. Oh yeah. Probably didn't need the funnel, but uh, I always take extra precautions. I mean, because it is not even, it's like down in the little part of the spout is where I landed it. My hands ain't too daggum steady though. So I may have spilled a few drops if I hadn't used the uh, funnel. first oil change I've done on this truck too. I've had it for a year, but uh, a little over a year, but uh, I might have put 3,000 on it and the oil was clean when I picked it up. And I'm talking about 3,000 including, well, let me check it just in case. But this thing should hold five quarts, so I shouldn't be in any, you know, any uh, danger of overfilling it with five quarts. like it's full but I forgot to do something I forgot to fill the uh, filter so we got to do that but uh, yeah I'll do that this is the gist of it and I figured we'd uh, do a little time lapse for the first time I'll have to dump that oil out and everything not dump it out but into one of those jugs over there that's empty for recycle I got one this one's already full well half full this one will be what I pour the truck oil in but anyways I hope you liked the video and if you did please hit the like and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet uh, hit the bell for all the notifications of any videos I add and uh, share the crap out of it.